When you are guarding Nikola Jokic, you have to start battling for position the second he puts a foot in the paint. Right now, if you wait like Rui Hachimura does, you're going to get manhandled. Now Jokic has inside position, and this ball's just coming right to him again, and it's back up for two. Okay, you cannot leave your feet when you're guarding Nikola Jokic. He can beat you off the dribble. Look at Anthony Davis here. He's going to leave his feet right there trying to get a deflection on what he thinks is a pass to KCP. Well, the pass never happens, and this is just a pump-and-go drive straight to the tin. Okay, Jokic has every move in his bag in the post right here. A Anthony Davis has got to be way more aggressive getting up, and you got to battle for position right now. You can Look at Anthony Davis here. Stop. This is way too nonchalant. So now a Jokic is just resting on your hand right here. This spin move is way too available. I mean, you just got cooked. Okay, I mean, Anthony Davis, again, is just not respecting Jokic off the dribble. Like, where are you getting back to? Dennis Schroeder can help here on Michael Porter Jr. You need to guard the best player in the world. Where's Anthony Davis going? What, what is he doing? So now Jamal Murray sets a flare screen. You have no chance of getting over, and Jokic can just rip and go by Dennis Schroeder off the switch. I mean, Anthony Davis is just not respecting Jokic's perimeter game. There are two screens being set here. Austin Reeves is going to switch the second screen onto Bruce Brown. There's nothing happening with this first screen. So Anthony Davis should be up guarding Jokic. Why is he dropping into the paint? So now Jokic is going to go, okay, I'll just come to the three-point line, and this will just be shoot-around. Yeah, I mean, you make the tiniest mistakes and Jokic will make you pay. Nikola Jokic just picked his dribble up and established his pivot foot. So the only thing Anthony Davis needs to do is get up here with his hands straight up. Like, what is Anthony Davis doing here? Why is it taking you forever to get your hands up? This is the only move Jokic had left. Okay, now Jokic is not quick per se, but he's got that Nowitzki step back in his game. There's four seconds on the clock here. There's not really enough time for Jokic to get to the basket. So why is Anthony Davis just not getting right over here in a defensive stance with his feet set? You're backpedaling and that's not a defensive stance. And then you're going to end up gambling right there. So now with 1.9 seconds left, the only move that Jokic has time for, you just freed up for him. Step back Nowitzki three at the horn. You know that Jokic is going to look to repost here. So once this pass out to Jamal Murray happens, Jared Vanderbilt cannot relax. You've got to continue to battle for position to keep Jokic out of the paint. See, Jared Vanderbilt's just relaxing, so now Jokic catches his ball on the repost inside the block. Turn out the lights. Okay, Dennis Schroeder is going to get beat off the dribble by Jamal Murray. That's going to force Anthony Davis to have to step up and help and leave Jokic. That's fine. Anthony Davis needed to do this, but you got to rotate now. Austin Reeves has got to rotate over here, and Anthony Davis has got to come to the weak side of the floor. You can't have Anthony Davis come all the way to the block to help and then expect him to be able to guard Jokic at the three-point line. It's not fair. He's not even close to ready to guard. It's get it and go again. Again, this is way too nonchalant from Rui Hachimura. you got to get up on the catch and start battling for position. You cannot let Jokic just relax on your arm like this. The entire middle of the floor is wide open, and you're just letting him sit there until he feels like entering the lane again. Okay, I mean, it is completely absurd that Nikola Jokic is going to post Jared Vanderbilt up at the three-point line, and he's going to get into the paint. Like, Jared Vanderbilt, you got to battle for position now. No? How about right now? Get up and battle for position. Okay, no. Stop. How about now? Get up and battle for position. No, you're just going to sit back and wait for him to make contact with you. That's going to send you backwards, bucket. You absolutely cannot ignore Nikola Jokic on the perimeter. So Jamal Murray's going to set a screen. If Nikola Jokic dribbles, and if he comes off the screen, then LeBron switches. Until then, Rui Hachimura stays home, LeBron stays home. Instead, the Lakers are switching. Jokic hasn't dribbled, so he's now just open. Again, this nonchalance guarding Jokic in the post is unreal. If you're Rui Hachimura on a post entry, you've got to, with urgency, get underneath Jokic and start battling for position. Look at, there's just no urgency here. Rui Hachimura never gets underneath Jokic and battles for position. So this spin move that you know Jokic loves to go to is wide open. If Austin Reeves wants any chance of guarding Jokic off this switch of this screen right here, I, it doesn't appear like Rui Hachimura communicated this screen because Austin Reeves cannot be going clank 
right into the screen. He's got to get underneath and immediately start battling for position. See, it looks like he was surprised by that screen. That's on Rui Hachimura. So now Jokic is in the paint at this point, and Austin Reeves is already a mismatch. It's just catch, turn, two. Again, this is just no respect for Jokic's perimeter game. If Schroeder is coming out to hedge this screen, Anthony Davis must go over the screen. Austin Reeves can come over here and backside help on Jamal Murray's role, and LeBron James would then have to rotate to protect the weak side of the floor. But if Anthony Davis goes under this screen, when Dennis Schroeder recovers from hedging, uh, who's guarding Jokic? No one, I guess? Okay, I mean, you give Jokic time to dissect a double team, he will do it here. I mean, Anthony Davis, stop. So Anthony Davis is doubling here. D'Angelo Russell isn't even looking at the ball. He has no idea that Anthony Davis came to double Jokic. He has to rotate to Aaron Gordon right here. If you don't rotate to Aaron Gordon, this is a dunk contest. Again, the Nowitzki step back. This is bad drop coverage from Tristan Thompson. His feet are not set. If your feet are set, you gotta you can stunt at the ball and recover to Jokic. That is the epitome of drop coverage. So the fact that Tristan Thompson's backpedaling, that forces LeBron James to have to step up and help on Jokic. One problem. So now Aaron Gordon is now being unguarded. So LeBron James can't just focus on Jokic. He's got to leave his feet to make sure this pass doesn't happen right there. And now Jokic has space to get to this Nowitzki step back end of the horn. So much about guarding Jokic in the post is about where he catches it. Rui Hachimura cannot go up the gut of this down screen. You have got to go over the top, and Austin Reeves has to get attached with his arms out so Jokic can't curl. I mean, Rui Hachimura goes up the gut, so you're not even guarding Jokic's post until he's on the block. Yeah, next possession. Okay, Jokic isn't particularly quick off the dribble here. LeBron can easily slide his feet. Why does he continue? You gamble once, you gamble twice, you don't get it either time. Now that gets you flying this way. And here comes that Jokic step back. Again, that Nowitzki step back, Jokic will destroy you. And he's not particularly quick off the dribble. Anthony Davis can easily slide his feet. His feet are level to each other right now, and he's in a defensive stance. And there's only 3.8 seconds left on the shot clock. Instead, now Anthony Davis comes up to crowd Jokic. I don't know, is it to gamble? So now your feet aren't level to each other. You're not going to be able to slide your feet when Jokic comes this way. You're going to have to twist your whole body around. And with no time on the shot clock, there's that Nowitzki step back for you.